Hey guys, in this session, we'll write a simple program to identify middle element of a linked list. So, we'll take this linked list as a reference for our discussion. And this linked list has five nodes and 12 is carrying as a head node and 28 is the last node. In a normal case, to identify middle element, we will use length and identify the middle index. But in case of linked list, it's not going to be possible. The reason is at any given point of time, we only know head node and we never know how many nodes are followed thereafter. So there are two ways to solve this problem. Um, in the first approach, we will traverse twice to the linked list. In the first traversal, we will identify the length. The second traversal will identify the middle index and count number of nodes based on the middle index. Now, I mean to say the first traversal will go till leaf node and will count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we'll identify middle index that's 2. So in the second, second traversal we'll just count and we'll reach those many nodes only. That means the second traversal will come here and we'll identify middle index value is 8. So now there is another approach. So in that approach, we will take two references, I mean two head references, temporary references, uh, we'll traverse only once. In one temp reference, we'll we will uh, will increment uh, twice that means uh, we will traverse two node at a time but another temp reference we will traverse only once that means let's say we will reach end of traversal i mean we have two temp references temp node reference temp node one temp node two let's say if temp node one step I'll cover these two. Second step, I'll cover these two. But in temp two, always I'll go one step. Right? So by the time I complete entire thing, I already reached middle index. So once I complete the traversal, wherever the temp two node reference, that's our middle index. Let's write a program now. Let's create a new class, linked list middle element. Now we'll create a class for node, inner class, it has data and next reference. It has constructor too. The temp is assigned to data. So now let's write. We will try to cover both approaches. So first we'll write uh, the first approach we discussed. That's a twice uh, traversal. In the first traversal, we'll identify the count. In the second traversal, we will we will go to the middle index. So static wide middle element. I'll say version one. So the input must be node. That's always head node. So since we need to traverse twice and it's a value by reference it's always better to take a copy of the node so node temp node equal to head so now we need to identify the count int count equal to zero initially while let's traverse first time temp node not equal to null
count plus plus I'm incrementing the count and pointing temp node to its next node so I'm done with count so now middle index is <coughs> we need to identify middle index so I'll assign the same thing to count only count equal to count by 2 so we'll get the middle index now we need to traverse once again and count number of nodes we are traversing based on middle index so while exit condition again I'll put head not equal to null head not equal to null and if count double equal to zero we will decrement here because um, we already incremented we know what is the max we will decrement and when the decrement comes to zero when the count value became zero that's that's our value that's the middle element we are looking for so when count double equal to zero let's print the value head dot data and break the loop so now count minus minus head equal to head dot next So now let's run this public static create a linked list node n1 equal to new node value 10 I'll just copy paste and create five more nodes adjust the references and adjust the values too 34 39 29 13 so here the middle element is 39 now let's create the next references n1 dot next is pointing to n2 n2 dot next is pointing to n3 n3 dot next is pointing to n4 n4 dot next is pointing to n5 now let's call the method middle element v1 i'll pass the head node which is n1 here let's run and see what value it returns it returns 39 which is middle index so now what we do we will write uh, under the second approach we'll write code for second approach which is a two step i mean take two temporary uh, head nodes and one we will increment twice second one will increment once let's write that static void middle element v2 we'll name it v2 this method and node head <coughs> make sure that head is not null in case the head is null just return it if head double equal to null let's say the link list is empty now let's declare two temp nodes node tmp single increment node tmp 
double increment so now let's iterate while what is the exit condition um, since we are taking two step approach two step increment for the this particular uh, node it will reach the end of the node i mean end of the linked list faster so anytime this node is null <coughs> or this node dot next double equal to null it can exit the loop so that's our exit condition so now what are we going to do uh, ten single inc equal to dot next uh, tem double inc equal to dot next dot next i am doing twice so once this traversal is over print the value system dot out dot print ln and this is our meter index the first one i mean with where we have taken only one step will will point to the middle index now let's make change in our uh, main method to point to the current one now run this I made a mistake somewhere. It's giving 10. What mistake did I do? I'm pointing head, single node, every traversal. Dot next, double node dot next and this i'm passing what am i doing wrong oh yeah i got the error the mistake is the exit condition um i had to put not equal to null in both cases and temp double increment dot next also not equal to null if these two are not equal to null then only you increment otherwise it's already reached end of link list now let's run so now it gives us the middle index thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel